Once upon a time, there was a kingdom called Cryptia. It was a very harmonious place and everyone lived there happily. It was protected by a big wall named the Basil Lamina. Outside the Basil Lamina, there were myofibroblasts in the stroma which surrounded Cryptia and they took care of the cells inside. In the kingdom of Cryptia, everyone was born in the crypt to one of the stem cells. The stem cells ruled over the kingdom of Cryptia and they had the most important job of all. They were responsible for producing all the other cells. King Steve was such a stem cell. He helped to maintain the population of Cryptia. To do so, he had to divide himself in two. Once born, the cells start to rapidly divide, but they haven't decided yet which career they want to follow. As soon as they're old enough, they reach the end of the crypt, and then now they can choose what job they want to have. Some of them become enterocytes. They are responsible for bringing water into the kingdom. Some of the cells become goblet cells which secrete mucus to help everything move smoothly. And some of the cells become endocrine cells which secrete hormones. At the end of their life, all cells, regardless of their job, die peacefully and it's time for them to leave the kingdom of Cryptia. And so life in the kingdom went on. But then, one day, tragedy struck, and King Steve made a mistake when dividing. His DNA became mutated, which causes proto-oncogenes to become oncogenes, and his tumour suppressor genes became inhibited. King Steve was now an evil stem cell, and every time he divided, he created cancer cell brothers, which were able to proliferate much longer than before. Before long, King Steve was surrounded by an army of cells that had no function and were not able to think for themselves. They called themselves the Tumor Regiment. It soon became clear that the Kingdom of Cryptia was not big enough for King Steve and his army, but in order to leave, he would have to destroy the Great Wall, the Basil Lamina. As the army continued to grow, they became stronger and stronger. They were able to release a mixture of digestive enzymes which degraded the proteins in the Basil Lamina. And then the wall toppled. King Steve and his army had broken out of Cryptia and could now travel in the bloodstream on their way to conquering other kingdoms. So what can we do to save the other kingdoms from King Steve and his army? We need a doctor who can help. The only way to stop the army is to go back to where it all began and prevent King Steve from multiplying his mutated DNA. But first, we need to find him. Because he's surrounded by his army, he's difficult to see. To help him, the doctor could use a marker that identifies King Steve's so that he can then localize the treatment therapy, which forces King Steve to step down from his throne. Once Steve is no longer king, he is not able to proliferate and the tumour regiment is no more. and all the other kingdoms lived happily ever after.